We've seen in recent days that Amazon has finally admitted defeat for Rings of Power. They're now using the tactic, the tactic that you knew they'd eventually have to come out with sometime because the backlash would get so bad. Nobody realized it would be only a few days after they debuted episode one and two on Prime Video. But finally, they're calling you racist if you don't like the series. All the criticism levied for anything about this series, it all comes down to racism. At least that's what they would have you believe. So, of course, one of the people who's been talking the most about the changes of Tolkien's lore, who's been proud to be a part of the bastardization of Tolkien's lore and his legacy and Middle Earth and Lord of the Rings, Ismail Cruz Cordova, who plays the Black Elf Orandir in this series, is speaking out about all the vitriol and hate that he's received. The Rings of Power star Ismail Cordova claims he's faced a constant stream of pure and vicious hate speech ever since his casting was announced. Now, of course, I'm sure he provided like evidence, right? I'm sure he dropped a bunch of screenshots. If it's as bad as he says, I'm sure he has like, you know, pages and pages and pages, just hundreds and thousands of messages and all this racist stuff, right? If you're going to make those accusations, I'm sure you can back it up if it's that many, right? Oh, no, of course not. Of course, they're not going to show any evidence. The latest member of the Amazon exclusive series to offer up such a claim in support of ongoing narratives that critics have rejected the series due to nothing more than racism. The Rings of Power star Ismail Cruz Cordova recently claimed that ever since his casting was announced two years ago, he's been the recipient of a nonstop torn of pure and vicious hate speech from dissatisfied fans of J.R.R. Tolkien's original writings. Um, speaking to his role as the elf of color, Ranger Arandir, he said that. He said, I'm playing the first elf of color in Lord of the Rings. His words, his cringe words, not anybody else's. During an interview given to Esquire ahead of the series premiere, Cordova told the publication, though his journey to portray the character saw him passed on by Amazon numerous times throughout the audition process, he refused to take the rejection lying down. To this end, he recalled to Esquire Brooks and Fiction editor Adrian Westenfeld how he responded to his manager, informing him of his first rejection by declaring, that's not the answer I'm looking for. This is my role. It's what I'm doing. You often hear these people who think they're important. And Ismail Cruz Cordova absolutely thinks he's important. This is his moment. This is his time in the spotlight. This is why he's using these accusations of racism. This is why he's hopping on this virtue signal train. Because he knows this is he knows this is a moment for him to get a lot of attention and to tell these fake stories. You know, they told me time after time I wasn't going to be part of Lord of the Rings. You know what I told them? I told them I don't care what you say. This is a role that I was made for, that I was born for. I'm not giving up on my dream. It's cringe. It's made up. It's garbage. But this is the story he's telling people. Same, made up in the same way it is with all the racism he's babbling about. He further noted. After learning about the role he was up for as an elf, he became massively emotional, leading him to leave all my soul in his next audition. Characters like this, it's like they find you. I just always knew this was mine. Funny, the character that played Galadriel, Morphin Clark, the actor who played Galadriel, said she had no idea who she was playing until she got all the way to New Zealand to film. But somehow, Ismail Cruz Cordova, he knew what was going on. That's weird, isn't it? The actor also confirmed he did not approach the series with any intention of adhering to the source material, but rather saw Amazon's altering of Tolkien's story filled with immense endless possibilities for new characters and representation opportunities. I knew I'd have the eyes of the world on me, he explained on his mindset. I needed to be undeniable, to, me, to be the most elven elf that I could be, and I needed my soul to shine through too. Interesting, though Cordova and his series production team as a whole routinely argued both Tolkien's work and media as a whole needs to be have more representation in order for diverse audiences to identify. The actor told that rather than Arandir's skin color, he actually more identified with his groundedness with what comes when you have to struggle so much. Well, inherently, of course, they're making this character be he has the most struggles because, again, He's the most diverse, right? They're trying to send a message with that. It's no secret that Arandir's introduction in Rings of Power was through the veil of racism. That's what they wanted you to know, that he undergoes racism each and every day. Weird how they used the only black elf in this series to portray that narrative, isn't it? And as the interview drew close to the end, Cordova broached the topic of the many criticisms leveled this way, claiming that individuals had inundated him with pure and vicious hate speech, 
ever since he was revealed as a series cast member. I fought so hard for this role for this very reason. I felt that I could carry that torch. I made sure that my elf was the most elven, the most incredible, because I knew this was coming. You can never use it as an excuse, but elves don't look like that, he concluded. They didn't, but now they do. Admitting that they're changing lore, admitting that they're changing Tolkien for this series. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to tell you that, oh no, there were always black elves, there are always black dwarves. It's part of Tolkien's world. No, it's not. And all the actors and actresses and cast and crew, they've admitted that. They've admitted that they're bastardizing Tolkien's work, but you should love it because now it's more diverse. And what does he consider hate speech? I bet he considers hate speech if someone says there's not supposed to be black elves, right? That's probably what he considers pure and vicious hate speech. If you actually had any evidence, if you had people dropping the N-bomb at you on the daily, you'd show it, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? You know this motherfucker would. You know he would in an instant. He would drop those DMs. He would drop people that are saying those things. But he hasn't because they don't exist. Just one more person associated with Rings of Power bragging about bastardizing Tolkien, bragging about changing the world of Middle-earth so it better reflects the world we live in, while at the same time claiming all criticism of them doing exactly what they're doing, well, that's just racism. Ismail Cruz Cordova adding the list of people associated with rings of power that continue to come out there and lie about everything. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.